Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Now today we are showing you a video and that is how to transfer over everything from your iPhone to your Galaxy S8. Now here's the thing, we have this S8 already completely set up, but ideally you want to do this for the quickest transfer at the beginning when you first set this phone up. So when you first turn this phone on, after you enter in your Gmail, after you do the fingerprint, after you do the iris, it will ask you, are you transferring from an old phone? That's when you're supposed to do this step. If I did it at this time, it will take almost three times as long to transfer everything because the phone's back uh, processes are now going on and it's gonna take a lot longer. So please keep that in mind. And that being said, you're going to get this little thing that came inside your S8 out of the box. And this is a adapter that plugs into the bottom of your S8 and takes everything from an old phone right in here. So we're going to plug this in to the S8. We'll take this case off. This is a um, caseology case because I know someone's going to ask that question. Just going to connect it right here at the bottom. And then we're going to connect a lightning cable from the iPhone to this USB. So we're going to plug this in here like so. And then we're going to plug this lightning cable into here. And now, again, because this is not the very first time we turn this phone on, it's going to ask us what you want to do. And what you want to do is smart switch. So you're going to hit that. It's saying, hey, I realize this is an iPhone. I'm connecting to it. On here, you're going to, since Apple doesn't know how what or what this is, it's going to say, hey, you connect this computer. Do you want to trust it? You hit trust. And then you hit next. And now it's connecting. Apple now knows this is a computer that it can trust. And it's going to start scanning everything on here. Now, what do I mean by everything on here? I mean all of your messages, your photos, your videos, your pictures, but more than that, your Wi-Fi connections, your background wallpaper, your uh, files, everything you have on this iPhone will transfer over to this Galaxy S8. Now, we don't have too much saved on here, so it shouldn't take too long to scan, but it can, as you see here, take up to 15 minutes for it to scan your entire iPhone depending of course on how much storage you have on there. If you have, you know, 100 gigs, this is obviously going to take a little more time. By the way, you might be thinking, well this has 64 gigs, but my iPhone might have 128 gigs, might have 256 gigs. Well then all you need to do is buy a micro SD card. The micro SD card will actually get all of the information first. So if you have 256 gigs on here, you buy a 256 gig memory card, almost the entire information will go on the memory card first, and then whatever's left over will go onto the phone. So just so you know, that's how the transfer will work. If you need a bigger storage size, you have that ability to upgrade that with the Galaxy S8. And now we're finishing up scanning it. Again, this iPhone doesn't have too much on there, so the scanning process is relatively quick. And then we can see we have about a gig of storage on here. Um, and it will tell you again, the estimated storage space on your device and also the storage space on your SD card. So as you can see, I have 30 gigs available on my device and about 30 gigs available on my SD card. And from here again, you can select what you want to transfer. You can do contacts, you can do messages. I don't have any text messages on this iPhone. Uh, you can also select, by the way, when you text, when you do text messages, you can actually do a time limit. So if you only need messages from the past two years, maybe, then maybe that's all you want. Maybe 12 months, maybe all. Keep in mind, though, if you have all, you might have like 50,000 or 70,000 text messages. So that will take a long time. I recommend for most people, let's be honest, you might not need a text message that's older than a year, unless maybe a loved one had passed away or anything like that. But overall, you'll probably be fine with a year. You have your bookmarks, you have your call log, you have your Wi-Fi connections, your wallpaper, your alarm clock. So if you did have alarm clock set up, your music, your photos, your videos, your voice memos, and your documents. You would then hit transfer, and that would be it. You would transfer over. 
Uh, overall, this can do on average, as you can see, a gig takes about three minutes at most, to be honest. I have seen uh, 16 gigs even do in about 10 minutes. So it's really quick. And this is just the thoroughest way to transfer over everything. I do not recommend using a carrier transfer. Uh, I know every carrier store or Best Buy or whatever has these transfers, but they are nowhere near as detailed or as good as this. So if a Best Buy, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, or Sprint person says, oh no, we'll use this machine over here. It's gonna transfer over everything. It will not. It will nowhere near transfer over the detail level of this. This is what you want. This is what you should ask for, and this is what you should get. All right, guys, hopefully you found this helpful, and this will allow you to transfer over all your content from your iPhone to your Galaxy S8.